In this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to connect a smart light bulb to a five gigahertz Wi-Fi router. I do heaps of reviews of smart home technology on this YouTube channel, and a lot of people have difficulty connecting smart devices when their router supports both 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi. This can be really frustrating, especially if you've just bought a new device, but thankfully it's fairly easy to fix. The problem is with these devices is they don't work with five gigahertz. And when you're connecting to your router, you can sometimes still connect to the five gigahertz and then the device just won't work. The first and potentially the easiest way to fix this is to change the settings in your router to turn off the five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Once you've connected your device, you can turn your five gigahertz Wi-Fi back on and your device should stay connected. How to turn off the five gigahertz Wi-Fi is gonna be different depending on your brand of router. But usually to get into the router settings, you just need to type in the router IP address into your web address bar. This is usually 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. From here, you'll need to type in your username and password to log into the router. Quite often, this is just admin and admin. Sometimes your username and password will also be located at the back of your router. You can see that there are some Wi-Fi settings here and there is a switch for both 2.4 and five gigahertz. So all I need to do is switch off the five gigahertz and then press save. This might not be as simple with your router, but usually most routers do have the option to turn off the five gigahertz Wi-Fi if you want to. Be careful when you're in your router settings not to change anything that's not related to the Wi-Fi. Other random changes could impact your internet connection. If that doesn't work or your router doesn't have the option to turn off five gigahertz, another way to get around this is to rename the five gigahertz Wi-Fi and the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi so that they're two different connections. For your own security, you should be changing this anyway. So you can upgrade your security at the same time as fixing this issue. Make sure you name the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi something different to the five gigahertz Wi-Fi and have a different password for each. That way, when you connect your smart device, you can just connect to the 2.4 gigahertz and this should also solve your problem. Okay, so if neither of those two things work for you, there is a third solution. This fix doesn't require getting into any router settings. So if you're having difficulty at that step, you could solve your problem using this solution. Five gigahertz Wi-Fi is much faster than 2.4 gigahertz, which can help you reach lightning fast Wi-Fi speeds that used to only be possible over a wired connection. But the one weakness of five gigahertz Wi-Fi is range. It doesn't have as much range as the 2.4 gigahertz band. We can use this to our advantage. All you need to do is get your device that you're trying to connect further away from your router. You wanna get far enough away that you're no longer in range of the five gigahertz, but you're still in range of the 2.4 gigahertz. Sometimes this can be a couple of rooms over or you might actually need to go outside of your house. This may take a bit of trial and error to get the range right, but once you're in that sweet spot, you should be able to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz, set up your device, and then you can move it back to wherever you actually wanna use the device. I hope that helped out. Thank you for watching. I've got a bunch of tech reviews on the channel if you wanna check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.